Today we're going to be talking about sourdough pizza. Now the key to an excellent pizza is to get a really hot oven. I'll be showing you how I use my Uni 3 wood pellet pizza oven tomorrow when we cook the pizzas. The second most important thing is to get a good dough recipe. So let's, let's start with that. What I've been doing recently is using the, the Uni pack. I will share with you the inputs that I use in order to create this particular recipe. I'm going to be going for four dough balls. 280 grams each. So let's talk about the ingredients. I've got my sourdough culture, I've got some Tipo double zero pizza flour. Now this is a, a particular brand it's called Caputo which is direct from Naples and this has been used for generations. So this is an excellent flour to use. I've got some cold water and I have some salt. This is nice rock salt. And there's some optional extras here. I've got some olive oil and some diastatic malt powder as well. Let's get stuck in. I'm going to start with 100 grams of starter. The next thing is I'm going to use 360 grams of water. Okay, so I'm going to give this, this a stir, stir the culture into the water. And now I'm going to put 633 grams of my Tipo double zero flour in. Oh, that's almost perfect. It's 20 grams of salt. Just grind it in. Okay, it's 20 grams. I'm now going to stick in 10 grams of olive oil. And just a, a spoon of diastatic malt. So this is a little baker's trick, but I think it can't hurt putting it in my pizza dough recipe. Okay, so now I'm just going to give this a mix. So that seems to have mixed together pretty well. So that's what it looks like. Can you see that? It's all mixed together. I'm just gonna let that sit, put a damp cloth over the top, and then I'm gonna come back and knead it. So this has been uh, resting for about 15 minutes. So just lightly roll it over the surface just to pick up some of the flour. And then much like we do with the bread, start to work the dough. Okay, that should do it for now. Shape it up. And let's pop it back in the bowl. Cut the dough up and uh, form the dough balls. I've got this glass Pyrex dish which is perfect for, for proving the dough. Let's put a little bit of olive oil in this. I'm going, to, I'm going to divide this dough into sort of four. To be honest, they're all pretty good. So all I'm going to do now is just shape these into a ball, sort of tuck it in on itself, make a nice smooth surface on the top, close any gaps, and then I can just pop this in my proving vessel. Rest on at room temperature now, and then I'm going to put it in the fridge with a damp cloth over the top. I'm going to let it prove overnight. I'll keep the dough balls in the fridge until I'm actually going to cook the pizza. So I'm going to make a quick tomato sauce recipe. Now, very simple. I've got my plum tomatoes, some olive oil, some fennel seeds, oregano, salt and pepper and then just some sort of garlic and fresh chilies and some dried chilies to give it an extra kick. And all I'm going to do is blitz it together. Very simple. Right, let's see what that tastes like. Oh, that smells delicious. Okay, so 
it's now time to cook the pizza. I've just grabbed this burger from the fridge. It's been, it's been actually in the fridge for a couple of days. It's kept two nights moving. Uh, my, this is the second round of pizzas I've cooked in this batch. So I'm just going to pop a bit of flour on the surface um, and a bit of this uh, cornmeal, which is really good for stopping the pizza from sticking to the pit. I'm just going to start to shape this using my hands. Okay, so it's just really a case of trying to stretch out the uh, stretch out the dough, working it. I like to use this steering wheel technique, which is essentially just a case of using gravity to help stretch the dough. Um, okay, it's looking about right. So I'm going to now pop this onto the peel. Um, the trick is with this is actually put some more cornmeal on. And what you want to do is, is make sure that at all the times, at various stages of the pizza build, just check that it can still move. I want to operate relatively quickly. So, so what do I've got here? I've got some mozzarella capers, I've got some salami, chorizo, I've got some olives, I've got some palm down, I've got some mushrooms. I've got my uh, sauce that I made earlier. The time is of the essence now, so I'm going to get this shell on the road. point at which I take uh, a piece of outside. A nice drizzle of olive oil. <laughs> Quick test of temperature. Absolutely delicious.